three different microphones, three different sounds. This is a product demonstration, primarily of this here, of how this sounds. So right now I'm hitting the microphone. You want to see the difference of how sound quality takes? Stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in for this video here. So we're gonna be doing a review product of this, but also showing you what I use when it comes to microphones. So if you know that I, when I interact with a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube, one of the things that I preach tremendously is having the right microphone here. And it is, it is very key important. And the reason being is that you will gain a viewer just based off the sound quality because for one, normally they're on their phone watching you or listening to you, and if they have to continually turn up and down their volume, and I mean, there's even people that I listen to their podcasts, I get tuned out because I have to turn up and down and there's too much background noise. So this is just kind of a trifold review product, but also kind of give you an understanding the difference between sound. So right now, the sound you're hearing is coming from this, but what I'm gonna do, I'm using a Sony AX33, and the sound that you're hearing right now is coming from the camera without this hooked up here. And what I'm gonna show you, the devices that I have bought on Amazon that you can purchase to be able to up your game when it comes to being a YouTube creator because sound is very important. Even in the live chats, when you have like group chat rooms. So there's this guy here, Tesla Picker, and I tuned in for the first time, seeing him on one of the live reseller channels that I follow uh, from the thrifting lounge. And he had a microphone. I don't know which one he had, but it was beneficial because I could actually hear him loud and clear compared to the other three guys that were just using their onboard microphone, whether it was on their PC or the webcam. So. Like I said, it, it, it's it's subjective if you want to use a microphone, but from my point of view as an IT guy and, you know, I have all the savvy equipment around me, I do recommend that you invest a little bit of money into a microphone, whether it's something like this here or, or you know, something as far as a Yeti blue microphone. And I'm showing you here actually right now on the screen of this one, and I'm about to hook this one up to the actual camera so you can see the the sound difference between me using my Sony AX33 camera without a microphone and then also moving into this here so you can be able to see the sound. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick. I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and put this on the camera. Okay, so now, if you're still listening in and you're tuning in, I am right now projecting the sound from what I just hooked up, which is this uh, Moki MC MCM-1 DSLR camera. Now, this works for your smartphone, works with your DSLR camera. It's just an external mic for vlogging. It actually has a mount that you could be able to put into your phone, and that way you can clip it onto your phone as you're walking around and talking. And I've used it in stores. Had no issues, but as you can see in one of my last videos that I did, I'm actually starting to use glasses as my camera, and then I'll do a voiceover of things that I can point out to other people. So going into this here, what I want to be able to go over is this product here, and this is a Af Phoenix shock mount for the Blue Yeti microphone. And this is what this product review is primarily about. But I also want to kind of talk to you a little bit about this Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, for this here, I paid on Amazon, I paid $139 for the whole setup. This is, comes with a, the leg mount. Actually, I have some uh, Koss headphones I barely ever use because I don't need them. Um, but otherwise, this is what I use for my setup. And then also, I am using Adobe Adobe Edition currently right now uh, for my voice over. So 
Kind of getting to give you an idea, and this is the program that I'm showing you right here on the screen, exactly what I'm using, and you know, it's currently recording at the moment. So moving into this, so with this here though, a lot of times, and if you see on some of my videos, and I just got this product and I haven't even tested it yet, but like if I make any movements onto this stand, and if you see me on my videos, I've, I've, you can hear a little bit of vibration and sound and everything else. And that's what we're trying to do with this here is to be able to eliminate any of the disruption sounds around it. And pretty much what this device does is it allows the microphone to float. So that way you can be able to accidentally hit the computer desk or hit your table and it won't make that vibration noise. And that's what it is, is that Reading off of this here, it makes the best impression, first impression, make the best first impression. Don't lose listeners because your recording sound uh, sounds more like a bad beatbox session than an A-list recording. And that's why I always drive audio down the road when it comes to making sure that my sound is obsolete, you know, and that I am talking into a mic. So a lot of times you will see me on the mic and then I dub over my actual video. So that way I can be able to have that quality sound. So it's loud, precise, and clear. So we're going to go ahead and install this. And like I said, throughout this video, you've already seen me hit this and you can, you can tell what happens. And so we want to be able to test this and do a bench test to see if I'm able to mess around the stand a little bit, accidentally kick it. And I want to be able to test to see if this actually does what it's supposed to do. And now granted there's 374 reviews on this. Uh, it has four and a half stars, so it does have a good rating. So I'm kind of curious, like I said, from time to time, I will be on my desk talking with this here. And then the problem is, is that I'm not able to adjust the microphone or anything else. And I hit it. And then what happens is, is that, you know, I have a bump in the microphone. So we're going to swap this out here. this mounted up so we can be able to see as you can tell here it, it, it is floating so the way that from my observance how this is supposed to work is by moving the desk it doesn't take the it takes the absorption of the hits so that way it doesn't disturb and I'm looking at the audio waves here kind of trying to see exactly how much wave sound is going to happen. And, and like I said, you know, that's what this is here is that it does help, uh, alleviate the vibration, noise, distortion, and shock. And so hopefully this does what it's supposed to do. And like I said, I got this, this is going for 24 97. I got this for free to do this review here, but as a reseller to be advised, you know, I would probably resell this if I wasn't using it for my personal use, but you can actually go on test Zion and I'll show you real quick. Now, I do go on Test Zion and I was trying to log in, but unfortunately wasn't able to get into my account. But Test Zion is an opportunity for you as a reseller to test products, do a product review on Amazon, and then you can keep that product and flip it. And it's absolutely free. It takes a little bit of time. Yes, I got it. But if you're looking for other other avenues to source, it's a perfect way to get into. And then you can also build your YouTube channel or just your Amazon profile by doing that. But just going into this here. So like I said, this was a review and my light just went out here. This was just a review of this product here. And I, I got to say, you know, I'm not going to be able to fully assess how this sounds once I get, you know, once I go through the audio here, but you can be able to see throughout this clip in this video before I was able to mount this, what it was like when I was actually hitting the microphone, it was taking the shocks 
or it wasn't taking the shocks. And then now this is what it's supposed to do as far as the purpose of it. So go hopefully, you know, you guys be able to take something from this, but also the recommendation from my standpoint as a YouTube creator is to get a quality microphone or even a microphone on any of your cameras, whether it's your DSLR camera, your camcorder or your cell phone. So that way you can be able to have the advantage or the ability to obtain subscribers and listeners watching your YouTube or listening to your podcast. So that way you keep them entertained when it comes to quality of sound. All right, guys, I hope you like this video here. Please hit that subscribe button and also leave a comment down below if you like this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out in this channel. It has some weird algorithms so that way people can be able to see this video if they're in the market for microphones. But as a reseller, this is what I would like to be able to do with a lot of the videos that we have. All right, stay tuned for my next video that I'll be doing. I'm gonna be riding my motorcycle going on some scenic roads here in El Paso. And then I'm also gonna be explaining my top 10 items that sold for me in the month of February, how much my total sales were, and then the top end items as far as the high value items that I was able to uh, flip, whether they were from my house or things that I was able to source throughout the uh, month of January that sold in the month of February. And I'll be mounting a GoPro here and also a GoPro on my chest. And I'm gonna also do some drone shots too. Uh, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I got that actually from uh, this gentleman here on YouTube, uh, Burgundy Sells, great guy. He was doing a walk in the park with his son on his back. And I thought this was a great idea to kind of throw away the monotony of the background of the green screen that I have right now that you can't see because I edited this video. But like I said, um, stay tuned for this video and I hope to hear from you uh, guys soon. Thank you.